Hi, uh, my name is Diana Duarte and I have been a dancer for the Ballet du Conte à Genève for three years now. I am currently in Geneva, staying and working from home. I feel okay. I think that um, I speak for everyone when I say that some days are easier than others. Um, and that I feel very lucky that uh, I get to spend this confinement with my boyfriend and in my own home. And um, that I get to speak with family and friends all the time, which I miss so very much. Uh, and um, I'm just happy that they're all safe and they're all healthy and they're staying home and that's what's most important right now. Um, before the quarantine, uh, we were touring through France and Germany and uh, we were preparing for performances that were going to happen after a short holiday period. Um, but obviously they, they got cancelled. We're working on uh, Carmina Burana and uh, Tristan and Isolde and Wahada and Fallen and so on and so forth. All the choreographies from our repertoire, basically. I am using this time to indulge a little bit on all the things that I often don't have time for at work. I, I really enjoy painting and drawing and cooking and just to simply be. Sometimes it's nice to not be in a rush or not have anywhere to go or not have an appointment to be in or work or just deadlines and schedules. It's, um, it's it has really been a time to just uh, be and really enjoy being in the moment and take time to do everything and I think that's that's really nice experience. We're often so busy all the time and now we have time to take things slow and really savor each moment. I think that what keeps me motivated right now is that I know that this is not the end. I, I want to believe in that, of course. I, I believe that this is not how things are going to be from now on. I believe that the world is going to get better and that we are going to be able to get out of the situation even stronger. And that motivates me to to keep working, to stay active at home, to, to indulge on, on other hobbies, because I know that there's more to come. And uh, I don't think we should give up on ourselves or on the world or in our jobs or... or the things that we believe in so I want to keep trying to to feel useful and to to have objectives and to be disciplined and to try to have a little schedule at least to give my day some structure because uh, after the third or fourth week everything starts to feel a bit blurry <laughs> but uh, I think most importantly just to even though it's hard just to put yourself in the future and a few months from now when everything is hopefully uh, more stable that it's it's not over yet things are going to keep going and one day we're going to get there and how how do you want to feel when you get there i want to feel good and i want to feel that my body is ready to work again and i'm so excited to start dancing again and to envision what can happen what will happen in the future uh, it's something that really drives me, so I'm going to keep pushing for that. Uh, about minimal, maximal, actually I have two two things to say. Um, one of the things was that um, when we had our first stage rehearsal for um, fall, um, the the scenery, there's, a, there's these white curtains that go along the back and the sides, and the floor as well is white which is a very beautiful effect because the, 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 the curtains, they have certain waves, sometimes faster, sometimes slower. And um, it, when something, when the light comes up, like either red or more green or the effects, it, they shine everywhere. Like you see them all through, through the sides and the, the bottom and it just reflects everywhere. And um, the first stage rehearsal that we, we did with the curtains, it was the first time, so we didn't know how it was going to feel. And I must say it was a bit of a wobbly rehearsal because uh, as you were looking at something all white, that it was in constant motion, it was harder to focus and to, to stay stable. And uh, it was a really funny feeling to to be in a stage like that with, s surrounded by these this white moving curtains uh, all the time. And uh, 
I must say it was not the best rehearsal we've had, <laughs> but it was a very interesting one because it was something that we had to get used to eventually, that both the floor and the sides and the back, everything had the same texture and color. And uh, it, was a, it was a very interesting process to, to go through that and to get used to that. And um, yeah, it was it was a very, very curious rehearsal. Uh, I think both uh, Acacia and our colleagues, uh, we save it like dearly, but it was not not the best rehearsal we had, which is OK. And then we eventually got used to it and uh, did our best in the performance, of course. And um, as well that um, throughout the, um, the creation, when it was time to, to do a run through, Ioannis, the choreographer from uh, Fearful Cemeteries, he would have us um, come into a circle and uh, get all together, hug each other, hold each other. And um, he taught us how to, to own where we, where we are, the space around us. He would uh, tell us, uh, this, is, this is your house. Everybody would have to say, this is my house. Uh, this is the place where I show you what I can do, uh, how I can dance. You own this. This is yours. Nobody deserves this theater and the stage more than you. Is a, this feeling of um, it's a way of showing that there's almost nothing to be worried about because we truly, that's truly our home. That's where we are most of the time, and um, we we don't need to fear it. We just need to respect it and to own it, to own the space around us. Like, this is my stage. I've been here so many times. Why why does it scare me? And um, to have the group all there and everybody saying the same words and supporting each other and looking into each other's eyes is something that I keep very dearly in my heart because it was a community. We were all together in this supporting each other from the wings on stage constantly and, and owning the stage. And I think that's very important to make this transition in your head that this is our work and being on stage is, is so incredible. We don't need to fear it because this is what we do. We're on stage and we own it and we show it. We introduce something to people and we don't need to be afraid of it. It's just, it's just a tool. It's just a place that is going to give us more more audience and uh it was uh, it was a really special moment throughout all the time all the times that we did a filage um to go through that each time it, it really helped and really motivated and um i look forward to more moments like that